always serving a fresh cup of daily inspiration, Deanna Hobbs. Today's inspiration is to let you know God is giving it all back. There are some blessings, some rich rewards you are entitled to. The enemy has tried to rob you and take away what God has predestined for you. Well, he cannot have it. God is snatching back everything the enemy tried to steal from you. So rejoice. Your harvest is intact and everything God has for you you will receive it. Welcome to this, your Tuesday, August 7th, 2018 edition of your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast. My name is Deanna Hobbs, founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that distributes free resources worldwide to help you grow in your faith and become everything God has destined you to be. I bring you warm and happy greetings live from Empowering Everyday Women Ministry studios right here in the city of Buffalo, New York. It is currently 74 degrees in the Queen City. It's a lovely day. Don't know what it's like in your neck of the woods, but always the S-O-N is shining in our hearts. I am delighted to be with you. It is a privilege to sow into your life. God is spreading the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ through this ministry worldwide, giving folks hope everywhere. And it is because of your support, your love, and your consistency that we are seeing the tremendous growth. So thank you. Every single podcast you hear is available as a free resource. Stream, download it on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher.com, your daily cup of inspiration.com player.fm on my YouTube channel under my name Deanna Hobbs D I A N N A H O B B S just click that red subscribe button and turn those notifications on and every time a podcast is uploaded you'll be among the first to know follow along on social media Twitter at team Deanna Hobbs Facebook at Deanna.hobbs and Instagram at I am Deanna Hobbs I am ready to get started with a prayer God our Father, we thank you for your goodness, your love, your mercy, your kindness. You are wonderful. You are faithful. I bless your name for the individual that you've led to press play. There is a specific word for their need. Open their hearts to receive every word that you will say. We know that it will bear fruit and your great plan will manifest in their life. In Jesus name. Amen. Recently, I had this important meeting pertaining to some ministry initiatives. Now, there were some key things I needed to happen that I could not make happen. And the honest truth is, it didn't look likely. There were lots of things that would need to go my way in order to make this thing I was believing and hoping for come together. I needed God to give me favor in a big way. So when I sat down in this big room with men going back and forth, working through details, I was given a few opportunities to interject to give some input, but for the most part, I sat there silently watching and praying. Inwardly though, I was making my request made known to God as Philippians 4, 6 tells us to do. And at one point in that meeting, it appeared that the conversation was going against me. All the negative variables were being brought up and discussed and reasons why this might not work out at all seemed to dominate the conversation, but I kept on praying and then something happened. There was a shift in the conversation. By the time I was walked out of that room. What had been weighing heavily on my heart when I walked in was done. God had given me supernatural favor and granted me some things I could not have gotten on my own for the work of the kingdom and for the glory of his name. I had been waiting and praying in earnest for months and months for God to do what he did in about a 30 minute meeting. Won't he do it? God is faithful. As you're listening to this podcast, there might be some things you need God to do. You don't have the power, the means, or the knowledge you need to make it happen. It is out of your hands and over your head. God is sending this word to you telling you, don't worry, another day. His hand of favor is outstretched to you. The way it was a woman who needed her house and land restored. You might remember this woman, the Shunammite woman. The Bible records that the prophet Elisha raised her son from the dead. Back in 2 Kings chapter 4 verses 8 through 37, the boy fell suddenly ill and died, but this faith-filled mother did not panic at that time. Instead, she went looking for the man of God, and when her husband asked her why she was looking for the prophet, remember what she told him? Despite all that was going on, she said, it 
as well. What an incredible statement of faith. And sure enough, that prophetic utterance came to pass. God moved on her behalf and worked in her favor. And the hand of the Lord working through the prophet Elisha brought her son back to life. Well, now we see this woman again here in 2 Kings 8. And this time around, she had a different need. She needed favor again. The Bible tells us that after Elisha restored her son back to life, he instructed her to leave her home in Israel for seven years because God had called for a famine in the land. And so she obeyed the word of God sent through Elisha. It wasn't convenient. It wasn't ideal. But she went and stayed in the land of the Philistines. After that time away was over, she came on back home. She made her way to the king to make an appeal to get back her house and the field she had left behind. She needed to make a legal claim of ownership, but had to have the favor of God in order for her request to be granted and to have her property given back to her. Well, Daily Cup family, as Providence would have it, the Bible says, when this woman and her son walked up, guess who happened to be there talking to the king? Gehazi, Elisha's servant. Not only was he talking to the king, but the Bible says in verse 4, the king had just so happened to ask Gehazi to tell him all the great things Elisha had done. So the servant of Elisha was sharing with the king how Elisha had brought a woman's son back to life and then she came walking right up to them. And so Gehazi got excited and said, My Lord, O King, this is the woman and this is her son whom Elisha restored to life. He had already given her an amazing intro and curried favor with the king on her behalf. In verse 6, when the woman told the king about the property she left behind and how she needed to have it restored, he assigned somebody to her and said, Give back everything that belonged to her, including all the income from her land from the day she left the country until now. God paid her retroactively. He restored everything. He gave it all back. For somebody listening, the word of the Lord is coming to you today. You've experienced a famine. You have seen. You have lived through a drought in your own life. Even though God has worked in your favor before, as he did with the Shunammite woman, you have another issue. He res- resurrected your situation before and now you need favor once again. Well, you are in the right place at the right time to get this word of revelation. God is going to do it again. The things you've lost that you are rightfully entitled to, God is giving them all back. The things that over the years the enemy has tried to take, God is giving them all back. Satan can't have what belongs to you. God is sending out an order, a decree, a command for Satan to loose what belongs to you, the enemy has to take his hands off your family, off your finances, off your health, off your peace, off your joy, off your stability, off your career, off your ministry, off your relationships, off your business, off your opportunities, off everything God says belongs to you. The Lord is making ways and opening doors right now. It is so. Don't worry about what it looks like today. This is your day for things to come full circle. This trial has a run its course. For somebody listening, your day of deliverance is here and no devil in hell can stop what God has for you. It's time. What you lost, he's giving it all back. And the enemy you see today in this regard, you will see no more. To assure you that God is giving it all back, I'm stirring the first four words of 1 Samuel 30 and 18 into your cup of inspiration. Before I say what they are, let me give you a bit of context. David's enemies, the Amalekites, Kites here had burned Ziklag where he, his family, his soldiers, and all their families were staying. They had also taken the women and children hostage. David and all the men with him were distraught. But God allowed David to get it all back. And the first four words of 1 Samuel 30, 18 say, And David recovered all. As you drink down the contents of your cup, here's what I want you to do. Instead of David's name in that verse, plug in your own name because you, my friend, will recover all. God is giving it all back and you will have an incredible testimony that the same God who worked a miracle before, who opened a door before, who healed your body before, who made a way out of no way before, who gave you favor before, has done it again. Expect it. 
Now let's pray. God, I pray for this, my sister, this, my brother. The enemy has come against their faith, their family, their finances, their spiritual fruit, and everything that you say they can have. But despite the enemy's attempts to destroy them, to rob them and defeat them, thank you that they have victory through your name and not a single weapon the enemy has formed will prosper against them. Thank you for restoration and for causing all things to work together for their good. In Jesus' name, we praise you now. Amen. Your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast has been brought to you by Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, where we help fuel your faith every day. For more information, log on to www.deannahobbs.com. 